dilapidated city about the concept area. We know perimeter. Perimeter is what? Length of all sides of a closed building. All sides. Fine. What is area? How it is different than length? If we talk about perimeter, it's just the length of house. Fine. Only the borders. We talk only about the border. When we take, talk about fencing, when we talk about bordering a period, that is all we are talking about perimeter. Now how area is different than the perimeter? Area measures the surface of a simple closed figure. What is the surface of this closed figure? Surface is this. So whatever is enclosed in this, this is called what? If this is the figure, suppose the perimeter is the border and what is area? This is all. The region enclosed in a closed field is called what? Area. Now, we talk about the units of the area. Unit of the area are the squares of units of length. Squares of units of length. Like suppose I see centimeter multiplied by centimeter. Why? Because all, all will have length and length. Fine? All length and length. So centimeter multiplied by centimeter is what? Square centimeter. Square centimeter. And in short form, how can we write that? We can write this in square centimeter this way. Or we can write, or one way of writing is centimeter. This is also read as centimeter square. This is how we write the units of the area. Now I said length. Now there are many units of length, you all know. Millimeters, centimeters, meters, but most commonly used is centimeter to centimeter. Meter into meter is what? You can say meter square or square meter. This SQ is short form for square. And three, these three are most commonly used for finding out the area. That is kilometer square or square kilometer. Now why we do this? Because we multiply two numbers with the same unit. So unit is also been multiplied. And that is why we get the unit of area in squares. Maybe centimeter square depends on the question. Now how to find the area of the given figure? We have two methods. First method is by counting squares and by formula. So first we are dealing with by counting squares. In this figure you can see I made these all are square boxes. 1 centimeter, 1 centimeter, 1 centimeter by length. Also 1 centimeter by width. So 1 centimeter, this is of 1 centimeter square, means 1 into. This also 1 centimeter square. And if you count all boxes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. What is the area of this given figure? 1, 2, 3, 3, 3 is a 9, 9 centimeters. This is about a regular figure. This is all regular. No half box, no full boxes. And they, yeah, sorry. All boxes are full boxes. No half, no one fourth, no three fourth boxes. But if you see this figure particular, you see one, 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 one. There are four blocks complete. Four this side, four this side. That means 16 blocks full are So 16 centimeters square. But what about this, this, and this? If you watch it closely, these are half centimeter square. Half centimeter square. This is half centimeter square. Because there are half boxes. You can see there. The box is divided into what? This. So it's what? Half box. So plus half. Plus half. Plus half. Three, three half boxes are there. So half plus half is what? One. So 16 plus one. 17 and a half, this half is left, centimeter square is the figure, uh, area of this unit. Now what points are to be remembered when we count, when we use this counting square method? The points to be remembered are, first if the box, is in, box of the figure is less than half. Less than half, do not count the box. If less than half, had it been like this, that means 
let me tell you a few. Had it been like this, only this much. This is less than half. So we will not. This is one fourth or less than one third box. So we don't take this into account. And if the box is more than half, let me show it to you here. It is like this. This is more than half. Had it been straight, it would have been one whole box. So, if the box in the figure is more than half, then we count it as one centimeter square or one meter square, as the case you have been given in the question. So, important to remember is if the box is in the figure is less than half, do not count. If the box in the figure is more than half, count it as one box. And if the box is half, you add up half and half and half. And get the answers back. Now area of rectangle. Now we have form. Area of rectangle is equal to length multiplied by breadth square units. Whatever units are given. Let us take an example. Length 9 cm. Breadth of this figure is 3 cm. Units are same. Centimeter to centimeter, the centimeter square you have seen previously in the Video 9 into 3 centimeter square because this is centimeter multiplied by centimeter. So this is equal to 27 centimeter square. So children, wherever the units are same, there is no problem. But see this. Here the units are quite different. Meter, centimeter. So length is 2 meter. Either convert this meter into centimeter or convert centimeter into meter. So we are converting centimeter meter into centimeter. 2 multiplied by 100. And that is equal to 200 centimeter converted, 80 centimeter. Now area is equal, is equal to length multiplied by breadth. So that is equal to 200 multiplied by 80. And what will be the unit? Centimeter square. So that is equal to 8 to so 16. And how many zeros we are going to put? 1, 2 and 3. Centimeter square. Even if you convert this into meter and then multiply, that is also okay. no problem. Area of square, as you know, square has all sides equal or all are of 5 centimeter. So this formula is sine multiplied by sine square units. So length of each side of square is 5 centimeter. Area of square is equal to sine multiplied by sine square unit. So 5 multiplied by 5. Full bracket. Square centimeter. Why centimeter? Because here it's given as So this is 25 square centimeter. Now the next one, if you see the figure, the next one is 2 meter 50 centimeter. So length of each side is 2 meter 50 centimeter. Now it is joint meter and centimeter. We convert the centimeter also into meter. How will you do? 2 meter is already in meter 50. Centimeter to meter divided by 100. So we get what? 2.5. What? So area of square is equal to 2.5. Or you can add 0 also. But 0 at the after decimal has got no value. So you can write this. 2.5 multiplied by 2.5. Because area of square is what? Side into side. So one side is 2.5 meter. The other side is also 2.5 centimeter. Needed. So 25 into 25 you multiply you get 625 when you multiply. Now where to put the decimal is again after decimal there is one digit and after decimal one. So one plus one two. So one two you put the decimal here and write here what will be the unit? Meter square. This is only the answer. Answer 6.25 meter square. I hope with this you are clear with area of rectangle and squares.